back to the cartoonist diary where this week we have a double celebration what's it going to that then that's four isn't it it's a double celebration um and to, to show it all off i cut myself shaving look just about there first time i've cut myself shaving in easily 300 years anyway back to the double celebrations the first one is not a major one in the youtube in the youtube world but this week I went over the 500 subscriber mark. So, yeah! <laughs> anyway, stop with that. Yes, lovely, wonderful, great celebrations. And the second one is this video will be the 100th video. <laughs> Bad business. Fine. The 100th video, my 100th video. Uh, once again, not a major achievement in the achievement, even in the YouTube stratosphere. But you know, it's 100 videos. It's 100 times I've sat in front of this camera and waffled. It's 100 pictures I've produced of all sorts of descriptions. Some of them not that good, I'll be honest. But um, you can see all that as you go back over the years, if you wish to. So. Five, it's, it's over 500 subscribers now and people are still subscribing and so keep it growing keep it growing like subscribe hit the notification bell tell your friends just keep it going keep the momentum going and uh, I thought right 100th video if I'd thought about it I could have done something special but seeing as I don't even plan waking up in the morning that's not going to happen and when pe and another thing when people say uh, this is a special video. It kind of implies that everything before it or after it is going to be substandard. And I tried my best. It may not always come out that way, but I do try my best. So one of the video over 500 subscribers. And today we're going to do the Christmas card that I spoke about. More about that when I actually get drawing. So thank you for your support and thank you for helping me grow this channel. If I can just ask you to help more and all those ones who have come along since you have been out there helping me then perhaps they can also go out and get more people in and before we realize it we'll be up to 503 it'll be brilliant right okay on with this week's video like i say it's the christmas card one more to explain in that so let's go off this way and draw something shall we yes let's do that right it's back so we here we go again it's the christmassy one um, I had to explain this, this gag, to the Kalashnikov kid. <laughs> yes, you see, she was born and brought up in the communist era. She was born and brought up in Bulgaria. So they didn't have Christmas because Christmas was banned. And they said, too much frivolity. And the fact that there are two things that start wars in this world, politics and religion. So let's get rid of religion. That should have all our problems. And um, so I did this cartoon and I showed it to her and I got a blank expression. You know, I don't get what funny. So I explained to her about gold, frankincense and mush. She got no idea. Anyway, it turns out that she had no idea what the nativity was. She'd, no, she'd never heard of it. Because if you don't do religion, then I guess you won't know about it. So once I explained it to her, she roared laughing then. So we're we're back on track. So um, yeah, so this is the cartoon that I'm going to draw that she didn't initially get, but do, but does now. And uh, I'm drawing it. The greeting card is going to be portrait, which is that way, but I'm drawing it this way. I'm not drawing it with a border, although it will have sharp edges or corners, should we say. So I'm doing it this way so as when it's drawn, I want a lot of uh, blue sky up there. So when I do it like that, they'll be along the bottom here and you go up there. It'd be very nice. And that goes, that flies it in the face of all advice that you can give to people when they're doing greeting cards because 
anyone in the greeting card industry will tell you that um, if this is your greeting card shape, uh, say here, then all the images or stuff should be on the top because when they're slotted into their places in the greeting card shop, it's the top bit. That's the only the top bit you can see because the next bit is hidden by the card beneath it and so on and so on and so on. So you have to be able to see what is going on. But seeing as this card is going to be just a one-off, it doesn't matter. And I'm giving it free of cost. It also doesn't matter. It's not actually going into a shop. So I don't have that problem. Why is it free, I ask you? I hear you are asking. Well, I'm glad you asked because if you saw my last video, you know. You'd have a vague idea what I'm about to say now. But if you didn't see my last video, then go and watch it. Stop wasting everyone's time. Um, but to save you that hassle, what it was, I was saying, I am going to finish this card. I'm going to do it all in colour, of which you'll see at the very end. And um, I'm offering it for free. Offering it to anyone. Uh, all you have to do is email me and I will send you uh, a, copy, a JPEG or, a, or what's it, a PDF, whichever you prefer. And you can then take that to your nearest printer or fuddy copper shop and they'll print you as many copies as you like. Uh, all I ask is you don't use it to make money out of. Obviously, this is my work. I can't stop you from doing it. I just rather you didn't. It's just so as you can have a greeting card and if people do say, oh, where do you get that from? Say, oh, it's a YouTuber that I watch. There will be my details on the back of the card anyway, so that doesn't really matter. And it's just another way of supporting me, showing your faith in what it is that I do. The drivel that I come out with. And the rubbish that I knock out on a regular basis. So there you go. Um, but all I ask for in return is that I'm allowed to keep your email address for my own purposes. And those purposes are to, um, to, if I have anything relevant, just to let you know about it. And I don't mean every week or even every month. It's just if I've got a new book out on Amazon or, or um, I don't know, I've got a print or something like that that I, that I think you might enjoy, I just let you know. That's all. I just let you know. You do, there's no, you don't have to buy anything. You don't. No one's forcing anyone to do anything. It's just, it's there. You apparently they say you've got to build up an email. This is very important. Well, I don't really have one, so I kind of need to build one. So this is just a way of me starting. And I thought the best way to start is to offer you something for free, and then whilst you're still con confused, I'll grab your email account off you. But like I promise you, no one's going to see it. No one's going to use it. I'm not going to sell it to a third party. Uh, I'm not like that. I'm not really into capitalism in, in that way. I, I believe that, you know, you should build up, with, build up with good faith, I think. Building up your good faith is a lot better than anything else. So that's what I want to do. So if you're okay with that, brilliant. If you're not, don't worry about it. Just keep on coming back and enjoying the cartoons. Hopefully as much as I enjoy producing them. Okay, so that's the salesy bit done. Now I'm going to uh, yeah, get on get on with the cartoon. So have you all had exciting weeks? I think I've been doing all sorts here. I discovered my old blog. I was going through it and I was Going through some of the stuff and I was reading it out to the to the Kalashnikov kid again. And um she said, why don't you do it in a book? I said, what? Sort of just print out the sort of funny stories. She said, no, she says, your your YouTube channel is a cartoonist diary. So why don't you do you know actually do a blog post every week about what you're up to? At the end of the year, produce a book, and it literally is the diary of a cartoonist. You know what you got up to that that year. And I thought well, that's not a bad idea. But I was reading uh, a poem from there that I wrote. It was a very long one, and it's called "The Wild Imaginings of Optimus Bean." And I thought I really enjoyed it. 
thoroughly enjoyed. I've completely forgotten about it. And so I thought oh, I might do a few more of those. And I thought, well, no anger bads. I, it might be an idea to illustrate it on this here YouTube channel. And um, and then read it out whilst it's been inked, shall we say. So that's another thing for the new year. Lots of other little things planned for the for, for the new year, along with the Sleepy Hamlet stuff that I'll talk about a bit more. And the next video will be me drawing the cover of the latest Sleepy Hamlet uh, novella, which will all should already be actually published by then live should we say it'll be a kindle thing you won't be able to get it as a book because it's too small for a book at this stage all right so here we go we've almost finished the cartoon just one more character to go in it i won't give you the punchline i won't even tell you what the punchline is but um you'll see it at the very end and like i say if you like it email me and i'll send you a copy and you can go ahead and you can do it. I might do a lot more of this sort of thing, you know, offering you freebies. You know, maybe I'll do some colouring pages if you've got kids or just you want to colour them yourself. Go ahead, upload, you know, download them. Um, right, I think that is those. And you're probably thinking, why is he looking up there? Well, here's where we find out. Just want to clear up a few of these lines here. Okay, so like, yeah, I told you about a little bit about greeting cards. Yes, and I'll be doing a lot more, maybe some more cards, birthday cards, that kind of thing. Uh, I'm looking to do a poster, um, which you can also download. Lots of little things like that. And I promise you, I don't think I'm going to be able to do it. I might get this done in between Christmas and New Year. I talked also about doing um, my take on Calvin Hobbes, you know, if I drew dot, 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 and then that particular cartoon strip. So I, if I can, I'll try and do that between Christmas and New Year. If I can't, it'll be early in the new year it will get done right here we go that's the reason why he's looking at there let me know if you've worked out who it is i'm drawing or who i'm gonna draw god i love drawing cartoons have you seen my ticket doc channel you should go and see that, you know. There's lots of stuff going on there. Where today is? No. Okay. So I'm just trying to concentrate on this a little bit now. What can I say technical about this? I don't know. Actually, um, I've been having a few comments about materials that I use. I, I get them quite, you know, from time to time, fairly regularly, I guess. Um, but on my TikTok channel, mainly it's just um, broken down stages of whatever I'm working on that day or part of it that week. Uh, but I have done one on the looking after this or how to or if you have problems with your ink and it's sticking or clogging and all that kind of stuff and i tell you what i do as a cartoonist you know how i get around these things and i'm going to be doing a lot more of those in the new year as well technical stuff day-to-day -day details of being a jobbing cartoonist i guess so um if you like that kind of stuff a little bit of um, I don't know, stuff that I've experienced over the years, stuff I've learned, my experiences as a cartoonist, how I do this, how I do that, why I do it, and why maybe you should do it. 
You would say, you must have worked out who it is. Of course, it's Frankenstein, isn't it? Uh, because this is a Christmassy type thing, and it is, well, on my time of drawing it, by the time you see it, it won't be the first. It's the 1st of December. So it's the Christmas month. By the time you see it, it'll be the 2nd. There was one thing I, I wanted to do, but it's too late now, and I haven't got time to organise it because I'm actually quite busy at the moment, which is a good thing. But I wanted to do a kind of an advent calendar where... I produce a different cartoon every day for 24 days. Like I say, I'm really busy at the moment, so I couldn't do it. But maybe next year, if you remind me, if you remind me next year, right, what's the expression? Hit me up. That's right. Hit me up about that around about October time. And I'll see if I can organise it. So literally every day, there'll be a little bit of, you know, on the first day of Christmas, blah, 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 all that sort of stuff. And then... I'll do some sort of thing where I open the door and we'll zoom into it and I'll draw a Christmas cartoon every day of the of that month. Won't that be good? That'll be amazing. I'm see, I I knew you'd love it. I knew you'd love it. Okay then, so this is pretty much it. There's a little bit of background there. And I don't know whether I'm gonna put the balloon in now or whether I'll do the balloon and drop it in afterwards yeah i'll probably do that so this is it this is the cartoon that you'll have it'll be landscape when it's finished but for the purposes of ease of drawing i've done it this way stop questioning me i know what i'm talking about sort of kind of you know not understanding what the hell i'm talking about way uh yeah well i hope you enjoyed it it's been great having you up here as usual i thoroughly enjoy my time with you and uh, hopefully we'll see you again in a fortnight when I, as i say i really hope I'm still struggling to get the final bits of the editing of the book done but i really hope that i will be able to do the cover for the next sleepy hamlet's novella which is called um was it called invasive action yes that sounds good doesn't it um so come along for that, and I'll be reading a section of it out whilst I ink it. So it won't just be me drawing it. And at the end of it all, you get to see what the cover looks like. So you can rush over to Amazon and order it. And if you don't have the Kindle, a Kindle, then just download the app onto your phone or your tablet, and you can read it through that. As long as you've got an Amazon account, you'll be okay. So, yes. I'll be doing that next time. And in the meantime, once again, thank you very, very, very much for your valuable time. I shall now, <coughs> sorry, excuse me. I shall now sign off, choose some suitably Christmas music, and I shall ink this damned here cartoon and show you the finished thing at the very end. Right. Bye-bye for now. Have a lovely fortnight. Get those decorations up if they aren't. And I shall see you in a fortnight. Thank you very much. And bye-bye for now.
Thank you.